Hey guys, I just bought a Yeti 3000 and um, I thought I'd show you real quick as to how it's actually performing during the charging process. I have a Renogy uh, 200 watt uh, solar panels outside uh, drawing power from the sun and just uh, uh, basically providing charge to the uh, power station. So uh, I connected the charger to the MPPT and if you take a look there it's charging at 144 watts so uh, it's doing really really good uh, I'm pretty impressed uh, with the amount of Sun that I can actually draw down from the uh, 200 watt panels and it's only what nine o'clock in the morning and it's already able to do 147 watts so that's pretty impressive given that uh, the 200 uh, watt panel sometimes um, won't even get up to uh, 130 140 but uh, right now you know I I'm anticipating that um, the drawdown from the Sun would probably go as high as 160 um, when the Sun uh, starts to peak uh, around noontime or so so one other observation that I uh, saw is that if um, if we move the charger from the MPPT to the PWM on the left hand side Take a look at how much more efficient the uh, MPPT is, okay? I'm going to go ahead and, and unplug this. Right now it's charging at 149 uh, average, okay? There you go. The power input has just dropped to zero. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, plug this into the PWM uh, controller. And um, if I can just plug this really nicely. And the uh, charging should pick up here shortly. There you go. It start to actually charge. Um, but watch how how much less the PWM on the left hand side actually charges. It uh, drops to about I don't know 137, which is in between 10 to 12 watts drop uh, compared to the MPPT. So um, uh, basically, um, I think the MPPT charger, uh, just as uh, Gold Zero has uh, advertised, is way much more efficient in uh, extracting uh, uh, photovoltaics from the sun and, uh, and speed up the charging process for the uh, 3000. So um, I actually have a couple of more uh, solar panels that are inbound and uh, the plan is to uh, connect uh, to 150 watts um, that should push my ability to uh, charge the uh, the Yeti 3000 all the way up, up maybe to about 600 watts uh, so connect one to the PWM and the other one to the MPPT just to make sure that I stay within the voltage limitation uh, for the input um, so anyway uh, I thought I shared this a little bit of information um, other than that uh, I'm pretty impressed um, you know I will share with you guys the uh, load testing uh, video that I've actually done and uh, hopefully goal zero will uh, provide us with a chaining capability so that we can chain two uh, similar or dissimilar lithium power stations together so let me go ahead and pull this back again and bring this back over to my uh, MPPT charger. There you go. And let's see one last time before we adjourn here and uh, kill the video. So 127, 146. Pretty impressive. All right, that that that's it for uh, for the time being. And uh, hope to see you guys out there with your own power stations. Have a good one.